The Devil and the Dark Water by Stuart Turton is, I believe, his that'd be a second book. I'm not sure, but um, this book was uh, big on the mystery crime thriller Goodreads list, and uh, the Seven and a Half Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle is on my TBR. I actually just bought a copy from a thrift shop. Oh, I haven't read it yet though, but I heard really good things about this. Um, the only thing I knew about this was the plot. Uh, people on a ship, someone is the devil. That's basically the plot of um, the book. I'm going to get into a little more detail. I won't give any spoilers, obviously, but um, let's get into it. This book is about a dynamic detective duo. Samuel Pipps is a Sherlock Holmes kind of pretty boy. He, he's very astute. He's got like a superpower. He's, you know, he can just look at someone and be able to tell half their life story just from looking at them. And his uh, protege is Arendt Hayes. He's a lieutenant, former lieutenant, uh, war hero, um, also sort of large. I, I saw him as a sort of Dave Batista kind of type, you know, large, gentle giant, trying to be more refined, ex-mercenary. Two of them solve cases together. However, Sammy is accused of a terrible crime, put in irons and put on the Sardam, which is uh, run by Governor General Jan Han. He's got a mysterious cargo on the boat. He's trying to go to Amsterdam. He's got Sammy uh, in a bad cell. Aaron has to tag along to find out what's going on. There's a colorful cast of uh, crew and sailors and soldiers and civilians. Everyone's on the Sardam. However, when they board, a leper shows up on the top of the crates, says that the ship is doomed and bursts into flames. So, you know, with their greatest detective um, shoved into a uh, cabin uh, below decks, Arendt is now the protege, has to become the master detective. It's up to him to find out, uh, you know, who the devil is, who's trying to threaten the ship, what's in the ship, you know, pretty much... Uh, thrilling mystery detective period piece novel. So to be honest, 100% honest, I wasn't into this book at the beginning. The book doesn't pick up till about page 80. And for me, I give a book 100 pages to interest me or I abandon it. And um, there's a lot of ship jargon. You know, there's a lot of mentions of the poop deck or this deck or that deck. And I understand it's important so that you get a sort of bearing for how the ship works and who's who, but there's a lot of ship jargon. And it's kind of boring, but you know, I guess it's important for later. And um, other than that though, that, that, that was the only biggest gripe. The only other big gripe I have was the ending's a little underwhelming, but that's not a big deal because overall I really enjoyed the ride. You know, um, I really got into the characters, the mystery. Um, I noticed the structure of the books very similar to Dan Brown novels, very short chapters, some chapters a little bit longer but everything's kind of punchy, kind of keeps you rolling forward momentum kind of plot. And you know, little cliffhanger at the end of each chapter as well. So very similar to uh, Dan Brown's structure of short chapters with a little cliffhanger to keep you going, to propel you forward. And I like that. That means the book has, it was a quick read for me. I, I think I took it down in like four or five days. But overall, yeah, I enjoyed the ride, even though the ending was meh. Uh, I really liked the characters, and I was really interested in it, and definitely a very enjoyable thriller mystery. Uh, very excited to read the other book by him. And um, if I had to give this book a rating, I'd give it a solid 4 out of 5.